Yo, what is up everybody, Lagging Leland here with another video. Now for today's video, I'm going to be doing another minifigure tutorial for Christian Stensley's TLZA. You guys really seem to like the last one. And there are a lot of characters from Christian Stensley's TLZA that I have not covered yet. So let's get into it. Now in the last video, I did a tutorial on how to do Gerald, Joe, and Matt, the main three characters from the first two seasons. But this time, I'm going to be covering a couple more fan favorites. This time we'll be covering Russ, Jenny, Slade, and the General, and maybe Kevin if we have time. But before we get into this video, this video was made with the full permission of Christian Sensley, the creator of Twisted Bricks, and thanks to him for sharing my video on his channel, it was really an honor. And make sure you guys go check him out, because he's got an entire trilogy of movies planned to make, and it's like fully independently funded. This guy needs all the help he can get to make these movies. I mean, they are incredible. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Make sure you guys go check him out. Now, thanks to Brick Vault for finding all of the pieces and characters. I really couldn't find too many images of the characters. So, thanks to Brick Vault. Make sure you guys go check him out. They got a lot of different Lego figure kind of collections. And that's where I was able to find a lot of the pieces, photos of the pieces. And then, if you guys want to find these pieces cheap and easy to find, make sure you guys go check out Firestar Toys. Those guys are really cheap. They sell Legos really cheap. And you can pretty much find all the pieces you need to make these characters. All the characters from the original video I did and this video. You can pretty much find all the pieces on Firestar Toys. I'll leave a link in the description. But now, let's get into the video. Now the first character I'm going to cover is Russ. Now Russ has got to be one of my favorite characters and his, a lot of his pieces come from older sets but I think it's pretty easy to find them online. Now the first thing you're going to need, you're going to want to buy Rex the, from the Power Miner sets. That's where you can get Russ's helmet and his torso. Then you're going to want to replace Russ's arms with a kind of light gray uh, sleeves. Then you're going to want to change his pants to a also kind of light gray to match his torso. Now probably the rarest piece you would need for Russ is his headpiece. Now in order to get Russ's head, you're going to get that off of Crunch from old Alpha Team sets. He can be found in I think one, two or three Alpha Team sets if I'm not mistaken. And those are all of the pieces that you're going to need to create Russ. Now the next character I'm going to cover is Jenny. Now like Gerald, most of Jenny's pieces come from old Clone War sets. Most TCF members do have Clone Wars torsos. Now Jenny's torso comes from a couple of different Clone Wars figures from old Clone Wars sets. Now you're going to want to change the arms to a kind of light green. Now Jenny's headpiece is actually pretty hard to find. It looks like it would be kind of a standard headpiece that you find in a lot of sets. But you only find that headpiece in some of the Pharaoh's Tomb sets and one of the most expensive Dino sets. Not Dino Attack, Lego Dino. Now, Jenny's hairpiece, you can find that in a lot of different characters. But one of the easiest and probably most famous character that you can get it off of is Pepper Potts, Iron Man's wife. You can get this character out of a lot of different Iron Man sets, specifically the older Iron Man sets. And those are all of the pieces that you're going to need to make Jenny. Okay, now let's cover the general. Now, like most TCF characters, the general's torso comes from an old clone trooper from many of the different Star Wars sets. Plenty of older Star Wars sets, to be specific. Now, his headpiece, it comes from, I think, the Series 5 Viking. You can find this figure in plenty of the older Series 5 blind bags. I don't know if you remember those things. And finally, for the General's hair, you can get that off of plenty of characters, but one of the more famous ones is Anakin Skywalker from plenty of the older, I mean, really old Star Wars sets. There are a lot more characters that you can get this hair piece from, so I'd recommend you try getting those ones more. Now, before we cover Slade, let's just take a quick look to talk about Kevin. I'm not going to go through the full, like, tutorial because it's just a lot of little pieces, and I figured it's just, I mean, you guys could probably find those pieces in your own little bins of Lego. So I'm only going to be talking about his legs because I feel like of all the pieces that are really hard to find for Kevin, 
it's really his legs. Now his leg pieces come from Exoforce robots. These are really common in older Exoforce sets. You can find these in a, like pretty much every Exoforce set, but you're going to want the brown ones to be specific. Okay guys, you've all waited for it. Let's talk about the zombie killing machine that is Slade. Now for Slade being such a cool character, his like pieces are actually pretty easy to find. Despite it being called the Exosuit, it's actually not from Exoforce. This suit actually comes from Power Miners. It actually comes out in a lot of different Power Miners sets. And this is also where you can get Slade's cool looking helmet, the suit, the torso, and the legs. You're going to want to make sure that you change the hands to black, by the way. Now, Slade's shoulder pads are actually the trickiest thing to get. So you see, I'm not sure what pieces you can actually get this from, what kind of like characters. The only characters I could really find that had this piece, these kind of shoulder pads, were from the newest sets. They were from some of the video sets, the Apocalypseburg sets, and even some new Ninjago sets. I'm not sure, but they had to have came from an old set, but I can't find out which one. My guess is some kind of castle set, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you guys know which piece this came from. I'm kind of baffled, and I know a lot about older Legos. Now, before we get into his cool-looking scarred face, make sure you guys get this little piece. It's kind of right underneath his headpiece. It's kind of a neck piece kind of thing. Now, this piece comes from a lot of different Lego sets. It's actually a piece piece. It's not really supposed to come on the characters. But so you can add these to characters like Venom or something to have these kind of little backpack on them or something like that. And Slade has one of these to carry some of his weapons. Now for Slade's really cool scarred face. You can get this headpiece off of a couple of different dino attack sets. Some of the mercenaries in those. Now a really cool thing is that a lot of the mercenaries from the dino attack series actually show up in TLZA as mercenaries. Now for Slade's really cool visor that goes on top of the helmet, you can find this visor in a couple of different Space Police sets. You can also find it in a couple of Rock Raider sets and a lot of older sets. And those are all of the pieces that you need to make Slade. Now let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to make another one of these videos. I really do enjoy making them. There are a couple of minor characters from TLZA that I haven't covered yet. I'm not sure if you guys would like me to cover those though. Now, there are a couple of the ones I want to do from the medieval one, but just let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to. I wouldn't mind making any more of these. But guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, make sure you guys go check out Christian Stensley's channel, Twisted Bricks. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. He's got some really big projects in the works, and it would be great if you guys could go check it out. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thank you guys for watching.